This will be the largest group of assembled fans in the Western Hemisphere. That's why they need a big house. Welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Fresno State Bulldogs, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Wolverines will kick it away to start us off. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Fresno State's offense will get the first crack at it here. Here he comes, and obviously his defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. This crowd full throat splitting the air and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Handoff to the lone back. It's loose. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. I love those smashes when you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. The offense starts with a short field. It's a reverse. Plows through the defense. And I'll tell you what, I love the versatility of wide receivers nowadays. You can handle the football in many different ways, but I like it like this. You can get him going full speed in motion. He's already got all that speed built up, handling the football. He can chew up five yards in a hurry, get you those critical yards you need to put you in better situations. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Picked up maybe a yard, it's down at the 16. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. He started his drive in great field position now, needing to convert on third and two. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early on this opening drive for them. They're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. And the Wolverines will line it up on first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but... It's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Operating in the red zone here on second down. On the ground, it's Edwards. And he runs it in for the score! Touchdown, Michigan! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. 
Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Let's see what he can do with the return. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. They get you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Hand off from the gun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw. It's Keen. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Yeah, and obviously great play by the offense to keep the drive alive, and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Handoff to the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Listen, I know that's not a huge game. Those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. A third and long coming up here. Trying play action. Throws for the tight end. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Bringing it back. Continues to fight for yards. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys they can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. On the run, it's Edwards. They'll give him one to the 28-yard line. And that was a nice second down run and setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. On third and short, the power run here. The Wolverines have a first down. Third and inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop it. You better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. And the Wolverines have it with a first and ten. He'll keep it himself. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback couldn't make any of his reads, making sure the picture is not clear, getting downhill, getting the quarterback on the ground. Offense gets set for second down. Reads it, fires complete. 
They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a room. The Wolverines have pushed it inside the 20. Bully ball on third and short. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. On the play. Offense facing fourth down. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Here comes the field goal unit. Splits the uprights. Good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And, and listen, the defense will get this back and get some stock ball and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Fresno State right back to the line. Back to throw. It's Keane. Gets it out fast. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Now they'll run the draw. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride in stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs management. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. Here, here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Get the touchdown, get the first down, or just get down. And the quarterback does. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Bulldogs have this offense rolling. Looking for room. It's Gilliam. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10.
touch pass on the jet sweep. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. And the defense gets to the quarterback. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. Fresno State will have to punt. They'll look to pin him deep. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play call. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's for the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. They'll keep it on the ground. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? To the ground to try to pick up the first. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. And the Wolverines with the first and ten. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Makes a grab at the 25, and there's room. Touchdown, Wolverines. A great catch and run for six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Finds a tight end. Makes the stop at the 29-yard line, but not before he gets 15 on that play. And you just wonder now, is that the play that's finally going to wake this offense up? They've been sluggish throughout the entire first half, but could that be the thing that finally just gives them a little bit of a jolt and leads them to scoring some points here before this half is over. He's going to pass. What a job to lay out and make the catch. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. It's starting to get things moving. It's first and ten. Got him downfield. Ripping through the defense. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, 
you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. He finds his man. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He wants to throw. And it's intercepted! A turnover from the defense. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. Well, the offense turns it over, and talking to their coaching staff before this game, they talked about how important it was to have good ball security and not give the opponent extra possessions. That time, poor decision by the quarterback, and the defense made them pay. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. It's as if that ball had a magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they keep it? Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. The problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a tournament. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Offense getting set for first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires one high and deep. Pulls it in on the right. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Michigan. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this and running back that can play wide receiver and can design ways to get the football in his hand? Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. 
And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on. Second and ten after the previous play. Dropping back, it's Keane. And that one's too high and too wide, out of bounds and incomplete. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters, and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Fresno State will have to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He'll bring it back. It's Morgan. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Trying to get the corner. Nice move to keep running. And you make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house. Fresno State lined up to kick off and start this second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give on the inside. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. It's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you, to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain on the backside. Great job by the defense, not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. Back to pass, it's Orgy. Right down the middle. Makes a connection. They'll get him down at the 48 after the 15-yard gain. Making great decisions. That's what all the legendary Michigan quarterbacks have done. John Navarre, Elvis Gerback, and the guy can't remember drafted in the sixth round by the Patriots. Yeah, what, that guy, what was his name? Tom Br Tom Brady? Yeah, I think I think that's his name. Yeah, he, he was pretty good, too. But when you think about Michigan, you don't always think about the quarterbacks, and you don't always think about airing it out. But again, if you want to be a great college football team nowadays, you better be able to throw that pigskin. 
You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the gun, the give to the back. At the 40, there he goes! And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. The Wolverines have it with a first and ten. He'll do it himself. Runs through a tackle. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Well, he chews up yards, doesn't he? That was really quick, really decisive design. Quarterback runs are, are very difficult to stop, and you can tell he's got some ability to make big plays. And thank goodness they got him on the ground, and it wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. On the move. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the punishment has been extended. And a really nice job understanding. I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Leaves it with the back. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. A sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point in the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Just a great job by the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line. Sneaky little devils. What do they do? Make it look like pass, sneak in the run, catch you off guard. Great play call by the offense. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Looking for a man. It's Keem. Gets it out quickly. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. And that pass is intercepted. Looking for more room. He's at the 10. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why he played defense? Because you don't have hands? Yeah. And suddenly, with an opportunity it couldn't have expected with a first and goal after the pick, they move the tight end all over. 
trying to pound it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. Touchdown, Michigan! And the route is on. The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? You're going to be a great player. you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Right back to the well. Good pick up on the ground there. Give him five to the 16-yard line. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Fires to the middle. A straight downfield. He was just a breath from taking that one all the way and he'll run that momentum right into the fourth quarter. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers and both receivers have come up big through three. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Back to throw, it's Keen. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Bulldogs will have it first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. He was open. He had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. Let's see if they go back to the air on second and 10 from the 28. 
couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. They'll run play action. Going for it all. And the DB right with him to knock it away. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. He'll take a shot. And it's in, complete the long pass on fourth down is to no avail. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. They'll leave it with him. Defense not budging, he's still able to get two to the 29. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Power football with the run. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Looking for space, it's Edwards. Still on his feet at the 45. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Running it to the right. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. And the Wolverines are on the move. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Here's the handoff. the way down to the 25 yard line they move the sticks into first down and this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense you have the lead you want to chew the clock keep the ball on the ground keep that thing just ticking Palmer. they're just imposing their will david and that's something that we've seen i think all game up front they've been the more physical team they're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? From the gun, the running back looking for room. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football, create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now he's doing some damage on this defense. 
And a nice, solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. The give to the lone running back. Smashes through. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And they don't have to go for a touchdown here with this little time left and with the lead, but they might anyway. They'll run it on first and goal. And we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They march 72 yards and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Here's the return from inside is 10. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And after this play, the cake will be baked. Looking to move it through the air. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Wolverine. You didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. 